Hello and good day. I'd like to go over now your new classic design BT6. It is a combination of a vibration and static or electronic shock dog collar and the uh, parts that will come to you will be <coughs> the charging unit along with the charging cord. You should have two sets of prongs. Um, I'm hoping you have two sets of prongs. That's how I uh, I ordered the uh, the uh, product to be is to come with two prongs. One's a little bit longer, and uh, the longer ones would be for, of course, dogs with uh, perhaps more fur. And then, of course, you have then a strap, and it's fully adjustable, and it will just uh, adjust pretty simply like this to make it shorter or longer and then I'll demonstrate how it goes on the uh, actual receiver. So <clears throat> what I have done for demonstration purposes is I have hooked up the testing um, light that comes with your, um, your kit and it also comes with a little oh, fork-like looking um, piece here and I'm going to demonstrate how that works. Um, this collar is very, very simple to use. Um, I don't want it to uh, intimidate you in any way, but I want to draw your attention. There's a rubber uh, O cover, let's call it, and there are two prongs that are behind the rubber, the rubber cover. And the bottom one is where you insert the charging cord, and you push it in pretty good, and then um, you know, I don't know how long it would take to charge. Uh, I let it run for an hour, and uh, I have ample charge on the uh, on the unit now. So the bottom, if you're looking at it this way, uh, the bottom hole is for the charging unit, and then there's another slot above, and this little fork will slip in here and I'm going to demonstrate to you the settings that you have the choice to do. And so here it is. Um, I'm going to click it on once and you heard that beep beep and now I'm going to demonstrate like a little bark. Woof. You get a warning tone. Woof. You get a second warning tone. And then it's followed by an electronic shock. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. Oof. It's a longer tone followed by a longer static shock. So the first two tones, there's no shock associated. And then levels one, two, three, four. Oof. It's a longer tone followed by a longer static shock. Okay, so that's the first setting. Take the little fork, push it in there again. And now what it is, is just, let me, whoosh, it's a tone and a vibration. Whoosh, a tone and a vibration. Oof. A tone and a vibration. That's setting number two. I'm going to use the little fork again and push it one more time. Now the third setting is a vibration and a static. No tone. Oof. So it's just a vibration or known as a uh, a shake, they're calling it. It's a shake followed by a static shock. Whew. A longer vibration, a longer static shock. Okay, so that's your third setting. And the fourth, now it turned off. Whew. Whew. So the fourth time you do it, it actually turns it off 
and if you push it one more time it'll start with then the tone followed by the static Woof. so there'll be two tones Woof. no static Woof. and there's the static so that's settings one setting two is a beep with a vibration and stat and setting three is a vibration and a static with no tone so that's simply how you can set the collar okay okay there is one more thing to point out and that is the sensitivity settings and there are two small little buttons right here on the back side and they are distinguished by a little minus and a plus and if you click on the plus it will click up six times and make the caller six times more sensitive so in other words the minus sign you can click that all the way back and that will be let's just call that level zero and that would be your least sensitive setting and then click up by one so in other words if the dog is barking and you would like the caller to be a little more responsive you can make the sensitivity level be more sensitive by using the positive side of the button and clicking up and to make the collar less sensitive click it all the way until you hear no more tones and now you're at level zero there's level one level two level three level four level five level six okay so if you have any other additional questions, please give me an email. I am here to help you. Thank you.